Hello, so here's my homework video for fifth grade uh, for Friday, April the 10th, covering our uh, lesson that we were working on today with graphing data. So let's go ahead and take a look at our problems. Um, I'm going to try to write in as many things as possible, but I will probably not take the time to hand draw in sentences uh, for this particular thing. So we only had two problems on the front, and I asked you to do uh, the first two problems on the back. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. They started by graphing um, our points. So 61 would come just a little bit above our line here where 60 is. Uh, 65 is going to go to the halfway point between 60 and 70. 71, which would be our point for five hours, will go just a little bit above the line for 70. At seven hours, we would be halfway between our lines. And at the ninth hour, we would be just below uh, the point 480. So we are not going to have a consistent line all the way through here. So we went uh, two hours and went up four degrees, and then went up two more hours and went up six degrees, then went up four degrees, then went up two degrees. Um, so this is going to kind of match the way our temperature might work, but it's not going to be a um, set thing for each. Um, it's not going to be like a straight diagonal line where we get a consistent change in temperature. Um, so our ordered pairs, I'll just write the first one, would be 161. Again, our hours are going to be across the x-axis, so that number will go first. Um, our next one would be 3. 65, then 571, 775, 977. How would the order pairs be different if the temperature were recorded every hour for four consecutive hours? Well, the ordered pairs would be a little bit different because we would not make it past here. <laughs> and we also would have one, two, three, and four for our starting numbers. And we might have to guess at what the values for y would be. So even assuming that we are changing 2 degrees at this part, and then about 2.5 degrees, so we would go from uh, 65 up to about 68 or so, then to 71. Um, we're still going to kind of make an educated guess that we're going to fall somewhere in between these two spots for Y. So that's about the best way that I could explain it um, in a way that might make sense for you guys. Um, so number two, let's go ahead and look at our points. So we want to write the ordered pairs. Again, what we are probably going to want to do is number um, count by tens along here. So we have to go all the way up to 79. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 uh, would be our grid for that. Um, and then this would be zero. And then we can do our days. This would be day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. Or we could even skip a line if we wanted to make it a um, make it that way. So you have a couple options with the way that you set this up. Uh, we could even do the day here, but that doesn't make sense because our relationship shows that we are repairing more things as we go. So it would probably make more sense to draw it um, in this direction. So we're, we would make a line that goes up. Um, so if this is my 10 and each one of these marks is worth 10, um, my 14 would come just below the halfway point, the second one would go on the third, which would be 30. Uh, the fourth, third one, excuse me, uh, would go 30, 40, 45. Our fourth one would go just above the sixth one. Actually, about halfway between here and the halfway point. Um, and the fifth one would go just below our top. So we're kind of close to having a straight diagonal there, um, but not exactly. So doing it this way 
our x value is going to come first, which would be 1, and then 14. If you decided to do it the other way and make your days go up and then count by tens across the bottom here, um, then these would be backwards. And then our line would also kind of be doing, uh, like our first point would be here. And then our second point uh, would be up here for 30 and then two. So it would change this, the, the way that the, the graph would look as well. Uh, number two, or part B of number two. What does the ordered pair 230 tell you about the number of windows repairs? It tells us that on day two, we repaired 30 windows. And that should be that part. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, back page. So number one, how many weeks did it take for the dog to consume 45 pounds of food? Uh, it would be right here. We can go across and then down, and that would be six weeks. And number two, by the end of week eight, how much food did the dog consume? Uh, that would be 60 pounds. And you can use LBS period for the abbreviation for that if you don't want to write the word out. So those were our questions uh, for the homework. Um, hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, please feel free to post in the comments in Google Classroom. Um, with it being Easter this weekend, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I know it's going to look a little bit different um, not being able to go to church and possibly not being able to do uh, certain things that you might take for granted. Um, I know my family um, all gets together and has a big meal and celebration and so forth, but we're not going to be able to do that because of uh, health concerns and making sure that we're staying safe during uh, this time with COVID-19. So probably not the best idea to get 25 to 30 people together in one room and try to have a big meal. So um, hopefully you all have a wonderful weekend. Um, enjoy your time uh, together and, as a family and with friends if you're able to do that safely. And I will see you all on Monday.